Hi guys, this is Abdul Rahman Siddiqui, aka Pakistani Pepper. I'm a high school teacher and Google certified educator. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Khan Academy to engage your students in online and remote learning. Khan Academy is a free resource tool for students with lessons in science, math, and the humanities from kindergarten all the way up until college. It contains lesson plans, quizzes, and instructional videos that everyone can access free of cost. With that in mind, Khan Academy is a great tool for teachers to assign to their students so they can learn and engage in online learning. Today, I'm going to show you how you can assign Khan Academy work to your classroom and keep track of what your students are doing online. Quick note, on my channel, there's a bunch of tutorial videos for both teachers and students, along with some lighthearted comedy skits. If that appeals to your interests, consider subscribing. Now, let's get to it. This is the Khan Academy tutorial for teachers right now. Begin by going to khanacademy.org. Once you're in Khan Academy, log in with your school Google account or whichever email you choose to register with. Allow Khan Academy to access your account. And once you're signed in, it will ask you to register based on your interests. Notice how interestingly it took me immediately to stuff that I was interested in learning in, and that might be an issue in your case as well. But you can right now just select whatever you wish. Remember, we are interested as teachers, not students. So go to settings under your name, scroll down until it lets you select your role as a teacher or coach. Save changes. Go back to the main page, and once again, under your username, you are now going to see a new option called Teacher Dashboard. Clicking on the dashboard will now take you to the classes that you are going to teach. So go ahead and select the subjects you wish to teach. Hit continue and right now your class is going to have zero students, which the student section confirms. However, that's an easy fix. Click on the class and import your class name from Google Classroom. Click on the add new students button. Here you will see the options to invite a student I prefer to invite via Google Classroom, but you can also do via standard link or even create the accounts yourself. Select the class you wish to invite and every student enrolled in that Google Classroom will become enrolled in Khan Academy. Once they sign in, they're set. And just like that, all the students that you selected will immediately be half registered for Khan Academy. I say half registered because they still have to accept the registration, which is an easy process. Back on the student view, the student is going to log into Khan Academy. Once the student is logged in, they're going to select which grade they're in, and any of their interests, including the class that you already registered them for, which is going to be there regardless. After answering questions about their interests and how old they are, students are done. And now we go back to the teacher end. Back on the teacher end, you can now give them assignments. As you can see, that one student is registered. So clicking on assignments and assign will let you decide which unit from APUS history or whichever class you prefer you want to assign. So I click on the unit under assign and this time I am going to click on whatever I wish to assign, maybe all five of these videos and all of these readings and videos and the small quiz at the bottom and maybe one or two of the things from European exploration. So now that is 14 things that I'm assigning to my student. And I can click assign and I can select how much time I want to give them. I can even differentiate if they want different question sets for each student or the same one. 
specify your students, specify the class, specify the due date, and the time. And just like that, your students have received their assignment. Going to the progress section, I can see that right now my progress is at 0%, and that's because my students haven't done anything yet since they just received the assignment. However, as I go more into the assignments, all of these areas are going to fill up in real time. Right now, as you can see, I can clearly tell that my student has not completed their assignment, but once the student fills that out, it's going to be easy. I do want to remind them, however, so I am going to go to Google Classroom and assign the Khan Academy link so that even if they don't check their email, they at least check Classroom and it is right there. I don't need to provide a link because all of it will be available to them immediately as soon as they log in with the email they registered with, but I can provide a due date and the information and just say, be sure to complete your work on Khan Academy. Back on the student's end, the student will see their assignments. Now they accessed it a little bit late, but when they go to their page, they can see the assignments and they can complete them in real time. It is the first thing that will pop up as soon as they log in. And in addition to the videos, they can complete the readings and the quizzes. As soon as they complete a section, it marks it as done and that is what I would see in my tracking section. So from the both teacher and student's point of view, that is essentially Khan Academy. So that's it. Hope you found the tutorial helpful. If you liked the video, consider hitting that like button and if tutorials like this are interesting to you, consider subscribing. This is Pax Any Pepper saying peace out, stay peppery, and don't forget, sometimes life's best lessons are in the stories we hear least. Have an awesome day, guys.